All right, I'll go straight to the point here. I'm having a problem with a power steering wheel sensor, this one, and it's preventing me to go on sport mode. I can drive the car, no problem. The steering wheel is fine. The power steering, the power steering is there. However, there is no way for me to go on sport mode and you can see this warning coming up. And if I scan the car, this is what I get on the car. Uh, the first one is this one. It says DSC control unit vehicle start we are moving, I'm getting that. And I'm also getting this one, the signal actual angle invalid front, front axle. So that's interesting. So there is a sensor somewhere on the front axle not working. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting that. And uh, this one here, it says the steering angle initialization fault directional stability control issue like yeah directional stability not learned uh there are many things that will cause that we know that this since this seems to be electronical issue and i'll start with the first thing that i know is the sensor that is over here so i will tackle that and what I'm going to do right now is to remove this entire piece. This one here, you'll see yourself when I start disassemble this. Remove this entire piece, replace it, and see if that solves the issue. I tried to use Easter so that I could program the power steering, but that doesn't work either. Actually, it's even grayed out in my option, so there is no way for me to use it. So let's go ahead and replace this car over here. The first thing I am going to tackle is the steering wheel angle that the sensor that is hooked into the steering wheel. That is what we are going to re uh, to replace. The whole part is the one also that controls your wipers, indicators, and stuff like that. I already have a tutorial how to remove a airbag on this series, the F series. The process is the same. You have to reach a spring. Okay, this one is not good. To get started, the first thing you have to do is to disconnect the battery. And the next thing is to get a flat screwdriver and find the dots over here, this dot right here. And then you get this flat screwdriver like this one and you pass it through in here. You have to reach a spring and you're going to press that spring, which will pop release the airbag. There, it's very easy and very simple. Pop release it there, very easy to do that. And you disconnect these cables. Right, when we have that pop up, all right, we have the wheel out. I got the steering wheel out and this entire piece is what we are going to remove. So the next step is to just pop this out, these plastic covers, these two, we're going to separate them. And there are just some clips around here that you are, there are just some clips around here that we are going to remove and we should have access to everything here. I got this one pop open and there are these are the screws that I am going to remove real quick take them out and we should be able to pull this out all right with this one we use a seven millimeter socket okay and i should be able to pull it like this All right, this one is out and let's remove these cables over here, these two connectors. So I'll press here, you press and then you push. And this one will be out.
all right so i've got this one set up and i will go ahead and put on the battery then we're going to test the buttons if all of these buttons work and we're going to put the steering wheel everything is installed back very quick and easy so i will try to get my laptop again and i'll try to do some calibration and easter and hopefully that may help solve the issue okay i lost sound when i was recording in the garage where uh, to show you how to calibrate the steering wheel angle sensor in easter although i already did it but i will just give you uh, a quick overview how you can go about calibrating the steering wheel sensor using easter plus Notice that um, I am away from the car, but the car is not far. The car is literally just outside. And I connect my car or I set up Easter Plus to connect to the car using the Wi-Fi inet adapter. I have a link in the description uh, where you can get this inet adapter. All right, so we connected to the inet adapter, which is my wireless inet adapter. Next, we go into Easter and you go into operation and then you go into new and you go to read out vehicle data and you can either go to identification without vehicle test or you can go complete identification. I don't wanna do that because it takes a while. So what I need is this one. I'll click on that one and we wait. This will take a while depending how far you are to the inet connection. There you go, uh, I have my there it's identified my car this is the vin number for my car so what i will do i just double tap on that and then it will connect to my car there it's already gotten this one and you will see it start populating the stuff you see it populated everything else real real the dates it was my production dates and what blah 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 blah, blah all of that so we we'll wait for it to finish up and then we continue to the next step once you are connected to the car next you have to hit into vehicle management and then you go into service functions and under chassis and suspension so it will be something like this then you go chassis and suspension and then you go to electronical power steering and then this one eps steering startup this is what you use to do the calibration i hope this was informative for you let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.